Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I am coming at you today with a little, a, a video that's a little bit different than my previous videos, but also a little bit the same. Um, I have a teeny little dumpster dive haul I'm going to share with you right over here. And then I decided to also include a little thrift haul. Um, <clears throat> you know, my channel is all about being frugal, all about my cats, <laughs> all about sharing frugal things with you guys and, um, you know, just sharing what I like to do. And I do love to thrift. It's one of my favorite things. I love shopping. So it's a, it's a good way to, I guess, I guess I don't really love shopping. I love like the hunt of thrift stores. You know what I mean? Like you never know what you're going to find. I don't know what I need going in, but then you might find something once you see it and and then that's it. So <laughs> it's it's a, the thrill of the hunt, I guess. Kind of like dumpster diving. Um, so we'll start with the regular dumpster dive haul. Again, it's pretty small. Um, it's only been two days since my last video, so I haven't had much time to stock up on stuff. But these are from Aldi. You know, they sell the occasional non-food items. Um, this is a sports bra. <clears throat> and these are all things that I can utilize. So I'm really actually excited about these. A lot of the times the, sorry, this is <laughs> okay. A lot of the times the clothing finds from Aldi are just not quite useful to me, but that's great. Shoved in that box was this pair of leggings that probably is the same brand as this. So I know they sell them. These are not something that I would wear on the regular and they're like the really thin ones. Um, but maybe like around the house or working out in the yard, that's a good item to have. And then I got this little two pack of lacy bralette. So I think that's kind of cute. I don't know. I like those. I think I'll keep those. Um, and then really quick back here, these are the two canisters from my last video. This one, I have some popcorn kernels in, which will tie into one of my thrift store finds. I'll show you in just a second, but I think they're super cute. They're not going to stay right here exactly on my counter but they'll stick around i like how the top kind of matches my countertops okay next up from a local grocery store not a chain <clears throat> that i haven't dumpster dived at in a while i have three pomegranates this one particular is not looking the greatest they're all a little bit soft but i can go ahead and just open them up and tap the seeds out now i have not had a pomegranate in years um, well, the seeds, I suppose. So I think I'm going to bust those open and enjoy those. See if I remember even what they what they taste like. But three pomegranates. So that was a fun find. And then also from that same store, I got this fabulous acorn squash. Um, not soft at all. Perfect for the season. I think I will definitely include this in a cooking video um, soon. So that was a fun find. And then a few things from Dollar General right here. I have two little original or um yeah original but individual packs <laughs> sorry asparagus is talking over there um of the Velveeta shells and cheese macaroni so that's that's good can't go wrong with macaroni I mean I could even make like squash macaroni and then I have another box of the yellow cake mix I found like 12 of these a while ago still working on them <laughs> and then a box of the original supreme brownie mix this one's quite squished this one's not, um, however, it is past its best by date, but it is going to be just fine. <clears throat> also, side note, I used my dishwasher for the first time today, and it was fabulous. It was quiet. It was quick. It uh, came out so clean. I loved it, so I'm excited to keep using that. Okay, so that's it for the dumpster dive haul. Very small, but actually pretty, pretty good stuff. Now let's go to the thrift store haul. Um, I went to Goodwill, and <clears throat> I didn't know, but when I walked in, I saw that they had a sign that said today all donated goods were 50% off, so that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> and you know how Goodwill has, like, new things and stuff like that, so those were not 50% off, but all the actual thrift items were 50% off, so I'm very excited about that. Some of the things I'm really I really think I'm going to get a lot of use out of some of them. I just kind of bought on a whim because it's hard to pass up a good sale. <laughs> One of those things being this little crock. Um, can't really read it, but it's 
made in the USA. I don't know what it is originally, but it has these cute little houses painted on it. It's very, <clears throat> um, like, heavy-duty, super cute little neighborhood. It was a little pricey at $5, but half off, I decided to get it. I thought it would look cute somewhere in the kitchen here. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still working on arranging everything, so I don't know. I just thought it was cute, and if not in the kitchen, maybe a plant or something. Um, so I got that. And then behind that, I got two sets of these English muffin rings. These are um, in the packaging. They were $4 each, but half off two. I got two because I figured um, if I'm going to make a batch of English muffins, it's probably not going to make four. And it probably won't even make eight, but I figured eight was enough. I saw one more of these actually on, on my way out, and I thought about going back and buying it, but I figured eight was enough. So just little English muffin rings. And then I looked up the recipe, and um, it's actually quite simple, so I'm going to try those. And then I also found this little tortilla press. So I figured I would try my hand at making tortillas. And I know the press isn't necessary to make tortillas, but I don't know, it looks brand new. I thought it would be fun. And I would give it a try. So that also was $3.99, half off $2. Um, I got these little, they're probably trivets, like hot pads, hot plates, or not hot plates, but you know. Um, for something when it comes out of the oven. I'm going to use them to spice up my basket wall. Like I said in my last video, I didn't really like the way that I had placed it before, so I'm gonna try to spice it up a little bit. And then this was kind of like an impulse thing, but I think it's super cute, and I... Currently, I just have honey in my pantry and then the open one in my fridge, but I, I know it doesn't need to go in the fridge, so I'm gonna put some of it in this little honey jar. I do not think that this bumblebee stirring thing came with it originally because it doesn't quite fit perfectly but it's just little beehive honey jar with a thing <laughs> same thing four dollars half off two dollars this was a random find um i just kind of grabbed it on a whim but i'm i'm kind of happy that i did and it is a slimline container for water is what they have it labeled as, but I'm probably not going to use it for water. Um, I got it because it is very slim and I have a small fridge. It is not, uh, it's, it's probably apartment sized is what we would call it. Um, one day I hope to get a bigger fridge, but I actually don't have any problem. I actually haven't had any problems with this. Um, however, it makes putting bigger bottles of drinks hard because it, they can't stand up. Um, the shelves are just too close together. I can't stand up, you know, if I get a bottle of juice or even a, a gallon of milk, I can't stand up. So I figured if I ever got juice or, um, not milk, but anything drinkable, <laughs> I could go ahead and transfer it into this. And it has this fun little thing. Just put my cup under there and use that. And I tested it out and it fits perfectly on the left side of my top shelf. So I think that is a fabulous space saving find for my little fridge all right these next two finds are one of my favorites or two of my favorites this is a whirly pop um popcorn maker and it looks like the people who had this previously maybe didn't put any like oil or butter in there but you just spin the handle and it you know agitates the popcorn kernels like i said over there and then it'll start popping. And this reminds me of my childhood. My mom always made popcorn either on the stove or Jiffy Pop or in like one of those air poppers. Um, so I thought this was a super fun find and I'm excited to use it because I do like popcorn. <laughs> um, it was $8 half off, so it was $4. That's a pretty good price for that. And then this I'm super excited about. And again, I know that this can be done without this little gadget, but I don't know. Maybe it'll spark the spark the interest in me to go ahead and start the process. But this is an electric yogurt maker. Um, you know, it's it's not new, but it is new in box. Um, it's quite old, but it's never been used, never taken out of its packaging. Um, brand new yogurt maker. The box is falling apart a little bit. I have the instructions and everything. 
it was six dollars so half off that was three dollars i just could not i just could not pass that by i thought that was a great deal um so i'm gonna give that a shot and i like that it has the little containers um so that when i do make yogurt i can just have it in its own little own little thing and then i can drizzle my honey over it <laughs> Uh, so that's all the, you know, the housewares, the home goods. <laughs> and then I did buy a few clothes. I'm not going to, like, take these out and show you. But just some casual things. <laughs> um, as with most people, I don't get to wear, like, fun clothes at work. So these are just things that I'm going to wear not at work. <laughs> this is a romper. I love, like, wearing the connected, you know, little sets. And this one I thought was good because it it looks like two pieces, but it's one. And I got this fun little butterfly shirt. This is just a soft little waffle knit short sleeve shirt. Some casual blue pants. Some casual green pants. Some casual pink pants. Some casual tan pants. These are very stiff, so I'm going to have to try to wash those. And then these are just um, like sweatpants that I will wear um when I'm cleaning houses with my mom but that's it so that's it for this little dumpster dive and thrift store haul I thought maybe it would be fun and when I was part way through finding everything I thought oh maybe it would be fun to like take them like film at the thrift store so I don't know maybe I'll do that in the future but thanks for sticking around with me and checking out my video as always don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel dumpster cam and i will be back with more dumpster diving and house and frugal and life and everything related videos <laughs> thank you guys coming in really quick here at the end i'm starting my yogurt process but i'm also cracked open one of these pomegranates and look how fabulous that looks look how juicy that's just beautiful so I'll probably eat one now and then maybe save one to put on my yogurt. All right, thanks guys.